Well, hey there, YouTube. My name is Wes Spencer, and welcome to my channel where we talk about all things innovative technology, cryptocurrency, tech startups, all the cool things. Now, two months ago, guess what? I did a video on Pi cryptocurrency. I'd been doing a series and will continue to do a series when I find cryptocurrencies that interest me and that I think are actually somewhat innovative. I do a little video on why they're pretty cool. And I did this two months ago with Pi cryptocurrency and today's an update. I wanted to give you an update of where I think we're at with Pi cryptocurrency. What's this thing all about? What has been my experience with two months using this and pretty much nonstop mining? So if you wanna know more, stay tuned to this video because we're gonna to cover all of that coming right up. Okay, so here we go. Pi cryptocurrency. What's this thing all about? The first thing you need to do is if you haven't seen my first video, go watch it. I'm going to dive into what Pi is all about. I spent some time reading their white paper or <laughs> what is supposed to be in their white paper. Uh, really, it's a whole bunch of uh, reflections on other things like Stellar and how they're taking the same ideas from it. There's a lot of vaporware to Pi cryptocurrency, but there's also some pretty cool things about it as well that really got my interest. I mean, listen, I wouldn't have done this video if I didn't think it was pretty cool and pretty innovative, even if the innovation's coming from the marketing angle. One of the things I said in the last video was this, Look, if anything, they've done a great job with at least positioning the marketing and the value proposition before the technology, right? And so I think it's pretty interesting. We're gonna take a look again. We're gonna dive right in here to the phone. Um, ignore the Coinbase wallet, selfless pitch here. If you wanna see more about Coinbase wallet, I've got another video, I'll put a link down below where I dive into Coinbase wallet. That one is really starting to blow up. If you're interested in doing the whole Coinbase wallet and DeFi thing, I cover all of that there. But let's go ahead and open Pi Crypto and I want to show you kind of where I'm at. Two months I've been in this, pretty much mining nonstop, as I said. Uh, some interesting things have happened. So right here at the get-go, you can see right here, you see this flow chart they've got here. They kind of have this step off. They're, they're kind of taking the same idea of um, what Bitcoin introduced in the early days of mining, specifically around difficulty. One of these days, I'm going to have to do a video on what life was like in the early days of crypto, right? When I'm a granddad and people are like, hey, Wes, what was it like in your day with crypto, right? And I'll say, well, kids, I remember walking to school in the snow and having to mine all by myself without pools around, right? I remember those days are really, really interesting. Um, and I also remember when I first started getting into crypto and thinking, do I actually want to mine Bitcoin? Now, keep in mind, this is in the early days. And one of the things I was thinking about was I was running the number crunching and looking at difficulty levels and the more compute and hash powers going into cryptocurrency, how that's going to affect where the, the mining difficulty and the ultimate payouts will be. And man, let me tell you what, I was like way off from what I thought it would be. I remember doing numbers. I'm like, I'm gonna be making $20,000 like a week off this. And then by the time I finally got my mining equipment in, I actually had one of the, the Gen 1 Butterfly Labs mining uh, mining gears. There's a, an image of it if you want to kind of see what that thing looks like. And I remember finally getting that thing in the door and it couldn't have come quick enough because the mining difficulty had just amped up and just skyrocketed. So by the time I got that guy, wasn't making the 20K a week I thought I might be making. All right. So I'll have to cover more of that in another video because it's just super interesting, the early days of crypto mining. But take a look at what you see here, right? So they're saying there were about 6 million, 7 million users that are in Pi as of the time of me filming this video. And you can see here, the, the hash rate or the mining rate, the pi per hour is somewhere around 0.4 and that's the start for a member. And there are things you can do that raise your hash rate up and I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a minute. But they're saying somewhere around 10 million users is when it's going to drop and it's gonna cut in half to 0.2. And then you can see another halvening, so to speak, like what Bitcoin does down to 0.1 and then you know somewhere around a billion users, maybe none or like barely any. Now there are a whole bunch of considerations in all of that first, and this is what frustrates the technologist in me, they don't have this detail down in the white paper. This is just like finger in the wind, gut feel of like, well, we think when we hit, you know, somewhere around 10 million, we'll probably just cut it in half. Why are you going to cut it in half? Just because you want to? Yeah, just because they're trying to stimulate enough demand and supply and, you know, the FOMO people that want to get involved in this, right? There's no like math behind it. Uh, not that I can tell. It's literally just, hey, when it cuts, it cuts. Um, I just, I find that funny again. When 
when this is what happens when marketers start a, a cryptocurrency, right? So you see that. The other thing you can see, if I'm actually gonna show this to you right now, so I'm gonna go over to their chat section and if you look at this here in the announcements, notice a couple things down here at the bottom. You can see in July 8th is when they posted and they said, hey, we've got 6 million members. Yay, woohoo, that's awesome. And congrats to them, right? I mean, that's no joke. There's a ton of cryptos that are out there would love to have 6 million uh, members, right? And then you look down below and literally less a day less than a month, right? Let me say that again, from July 8th to August 7th, so again, about a month, you see them grow a million users. So at that rate, they're growing at about a million a month. Hey, that's awesome. Power to you, Pi Team. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Now, do I think they're going to continue at a million per up into like what they show on their dashboard right here of a, uh, where is, let me get back to this guy. Quick, go out of my way. There. Uh, a billion users? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. If anyone watching this video thinks Pi is going to get up to a billion, um, I got news for you. It's probably not. Now, I hope that I'm wrong. That would be the best case. But realistically, nowhere even sniffing close to that. So I just I love this 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 chart they show right here, you know, showing 0.4 to 0.2 to 0.1 and then down to zero at a billion users. I mean, come on, that's probably just not going to happen. I Again, I wish it would, but probably just not going to happen. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. I wanted to cover that and share my thoughts around all that. Another thing that I think is pretty interesting is the membership team. Now, I've got this blurred out because I'm not interested in like doxing my friends and in those that have joined, but you know, I've got a solid membership team of eight, right? Woohoo, eight, that's good. And you can see over those eight team members and you can see this divided out of the two months that I've been mining. It's not too shabby. I've got 1122 pi, 1122, ain't bad. Um, and you can see here, I've got some people that are not mining. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ping them right now. So ping them with me. I'm gonna hit this ping in active and boom, it's now gonna ding them and say, hey, Wes wants you to start mining again. It's just a nice little nagware <laughs> that keeps people in the system. And it's kind of smart. At the end of this video, I'll check and see if any of these folks that are not mining have started mining. So um, that's kind of interesting right there. And, and obviously this is sort of the MLM aspect, the multi-level marketing scheme, the pyramid scheming out of this, the more people that you have mining and that, that are in your circle, the more that you are going to mine as well. And that's where the, it went from six to seven million so quick, right? It just takes a couple of referrals of people saying, hey, you should do this too. Um, so I think that's pretty interesting. The other thing that's kind of cool too is their circle of trust. So it took a while for this to get built out. I remember the first few weeks of me mining, it was there, but it wasn't working and it was buggy. And if you watched my video or you tried to do uh, mining pie at some point in the past and it didn't work, try it now because it is working. So you can see some interesting things here. You can see my security circle has grown. Now this is not just those that are in my mining circle. This is what it's called the security circle. So these can be other contacts that I have in my address book that are also mining Pi. I may not have invited them, but because I know them, I add them in. And this is kind of the brilliance of what mine Pi is all about or Pi cryptocurrency is all about is adding other people in your circles, whether they come from Facebook or the phone numbers that you have, having them in here and having this ability to say, I know those people and I've got some amount of trust with them. This is the big piece that I talked about in the first video of how Pi cryptocurrency is trying to solve for that trust system and verification system. Because remember, where MindPi really wants to get is to become a commonplace marketplace and ecosystem where goods are bought and sold using MindPI. Very similar to PayPal as a good example of what they're trying to do and their goal in mind, where Pi becomes the, the currency and then goods services are brought forth for selling. Right, So that's kind of interesting in the security circle. And that's, that's their way of really kind of building towards some level of trust that you can then follow. I may not know that person, but I know the person that knows the person that knows that person. It's like the seven degrees of separation, right? If you take anybody in the world, supposedly within, I think it's seven degrees of separation, I may know that person through seven people. And I can actually believe that. Okay, so some other interesting things that are here. Let's talk about the Pi apps for a minute. There's not a lot of Pi apps. Obviously you see here developer uh, submit a form. So if you're interested in getting in on this and according to them in the closed beta, there are some additional folks that are using using Pi apps, but the only ones I have access to is chat, which you just saw, and then also Fever IQ. And so this one's kind of interesting. <laughs> The privacy guy in me is not at all going to fill this out, but we're in the age of the pandemic, right? So I can use this. And if I fill this thing out and tell them how I'm feeling, you know, here's my gender, here's what I have for my, uh, my symptoms, here's what I've done for a test, whatever. And then I can submit all my health information, give up all my privacy for 0.00. .00 
one pi. <laughs> Yay. Good for me, right? Uh, now, again, this is like the days of Bitcoin, right? You know, if you told me in the early days of Bitcoin, I could do something for 0 0.001 pi and I'd be interested in it, I wouldn't give it a time of day. But now 0 0.001, I don't know what it is. I need to go check. Um, but it's it's not bad, right? That's that's money that's worth it, especially crypto trading at uh, over 12K today as it, as it hit, right? And so, um, hey, maybe 0 0.001 pi is worth it. And I'll be kicking myself and you'll all be making fun of me like the original pizza uh, Laszlo developer who sold a bunch of um, uh, crypto for two Papa John's pizzas. It's now worth millions of dollars today. Maybe you'll be watching and making fun of me for the same thing, right? But uh, who knows? I, I kind of doubt it. I'm willing to take that risk. Okay, so that's what Pi apps are about. Eventually, you see more marketplace apps, according to them, get added into this system. Um, you'll see that at some point. Another thing I wanted to show you is in the profile. This, this kind of aggravated me. You can see ads down here. I have turned ads off, and I recommend you do the same thing. Look, if I'm using this and I'm mining and I'm adding in trust into the verification system, um, I have no desire to want to um, be able to have ads on. I just, I, I see no need for me to benefit them on that. But if you want to support them, by all means do so. But to me, it's kind of like if you're using ads to run the whole thing, you really haven't found a good way to monetize this yet, uh, which is the case for them. There's zero monetization. There's, there's potential there, but they haven't monetized it yet. Now, another interesting thing I've seen, I've had this on for like, almost since they turned ads on, so way beyond two weeks. But you see down here at the bottom, them. They say ads have been disabled for two weeks and you can turn it back on. Presumably they turn it back on after those two weeks. Currently they don't. <laughs> so at some point it may change and just be aware if you see ads flipping back on again, you're going to have to go back to your settings and, and turn that off. So there you go. I don't know what these received reactions are. I haven't seen that actually come about in the app. It's probably something in the, the chat features that are eventually going to be released. So hopefully maybe I'll produce a third video and I'll be asking all of you to like my Mind PI video, just like I'm asking you to like my video today. If you like what you see, hit the hit the plus button, hit the uh, like button, hit the subscribe button. That would mean a ton to me, right? Just to say the same thing. So there you have it. You see some interesting things here. There's not too much else I wanna see. I did explore the node. Um, the node is pretty easy easy to get up and install. You have to understand how Docker works. You have to install Docker on your local machine, and then you pop in this code, and that's how it ties and knows your individual node is tied to your account so that you can get Pi rewards off of it. Um, at the time when I tried it, it just wasn't, there's nothing there for me. It was still in beta, and the node system was still closed down, and they were only going to allow a certain select few people to actually join into the node. But let me say this, in the first video, I kind of teased them a little bit, because I'm like, is the node even real? Is this even, is this crypto even really, really crypto? crypto. I mean, so far, all I've ever seen is just marketing. It's just an app, right? There's no cryptocurrency behind any of this. I don't have a wallet. I've never seen any of it. None of that. Um, but it's good to see the node uh, showing up because it does kind of lend to the fact that maybe this thing actually is a real cryptocurrency after all. Although I will say the jury is still out. So there you have it. There is enough of an update of what Pi is about. It is taking off 7 million users. Like I said, congrats to the Pi team. May you make it 10, may you make it 50 and so on and so forth. I mean, hey, get up to that billion where you turn it off, right? Because if that happens, it's good for all of us. Now, where do I think this thing is going? I think it's going to still grow. I, I think we'll still see it get into the 20 million users. I think I'd be very surprised to see it get past 25 million. I mean, just the market saturation, what we call in the world of startups, the total addressable market, it's just not there for us. And so don't see it getting that high yet. Uh, that could change if they can truly monetize this and really get an ecosystem running where there are buyers and sellers. Could it displace like an eBay? Uh, Facebook marketplace? Yeah, I totally could do those things. It's got the potential. So Call me not a believer yet. Call me a in the camp of I'm going to keep mining. I think it's too interesting not to. Um, but why not keep it up and see where the thing goes? You can actually close the app when you're not mining it, you know, like on your iPhone, double tap and swipe up or Android, whatever it is there. So you didn't have to still be running the whole time. So very little. It takes three seconds every day just to go back in and turn the mining on every 24 hours. So not a big, big deal. Now, last question I think everyone's going to ask me is what is Pi trading at? Well, there is no Pi trading right now. There are some Pi IOUs that I've seen, somewhere around 33 cents is what they hover. Those exchanges like CoinGecko and a couple of the others that are out there, you know, I don't know exactly what those are going for at the highest rates. Um, I don't know the future of those or if they're even real, they're just IOUs. I've read online that some of the IOUs, I'm sorry, I've read online that some of the Pi crypto is trading anywhere from 
$1 per pie, all the way up to, I think I saw one person say $10 per pie that they're trading with internally. But come on, guys. I mean, do we really believe that? There's no evidence. I have no access to my pie. It just shows in the app. There's no like wallet access to it. So I don't know how that happens. I think that's just words being traded around trying to continue to spin this thing up. So again, here's where I'm at. The whole thing is just marketing fluff right now. There's no technical meat to it yet, but it's got the potential to become so. I mean, you've got to have mad respect for any cryptocurrency that's got 6 million users, and I'll produce another video if I think it's worth it. So give me your comments down below. A few of you really liked my last video. Some of you are making fun of me saying, you don't know anything about Pi Crypto. Um, I know about as much as anybody. I've read the white paper, right? <laughs> so give me your thoughts on it. What do you think? Is this thing legitimate? Is it going somewhere? Is it total trash? Somewhere in between, let me know. And while you're at it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It's the quickest thing you can do to give me some mad respect. And I appreciate that so I can grow this user base. YouTube, thank you so much. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.